So, Doctor, if we go outside in the sun, we're going to be out for a period during the day. You talked about UVA, UVB rays. Are, is one more dangerous than the other, and is one more prominent during certain times of day? And can we know, only be out over the noon hour for 15 minutes, but you can be out longer at different times of day? I mean, how does, how does that work? There is a UV index that's available. Mm -hmm. uh, there's websites. We have those websites in the book, of how, worldwide as well as the United States. And uh, the index, they recommend that you don't go out when it's at high or higher. It, they have several mm -hmm. categories. And so you can go online and look at that to see what is the day in your area. You put in your zip code. And so you can see what the UV index is. So if it's very high, you want to stay out of the sun between 10 and 2 during the time when it's uh, the most solar radiation coming through. Mm -hmm. So you can get your things done you know, early in the morning. Um, and late at night, I, in Hawaii, I swim between 7 and 9 a.m. And so kind of avoid that, but also to avoid all the sunscreen that starts coming in the water with all mm. the tourists because it just gets a thick film. It's just incredible how much is getting into the water. So Tie that in with vitamin D a little bit. When does our body make the most vitamin D? D? Is it from UVA or UVB? And how does all that work then? Um, it's the UVB, and okay. so then when we... Um, uh, when we stop that, then we're stopping the sunscreen, we're stopping the vitamin D manufacturing. So we do need sun. In fact, the studies actually show that we do better uh, vitamin D production if we get it from the sun. Mm -hmm. So we really do need some sunshine. But um, the Mayo Clinic recommends if you get out one and a half to two hours a week that you'll be fine. Okay. So you can get out for 15 minutes a day. And in the winter time, you need to be out more during those 10 to 2, uh, 2 p.m. hours in order to get the intensity of the radiation. But in the summertime, you can get it more in the morning or afternoon sun. So, but we do absolutely need to get that. And there's a lot of discrepancy now about um, and disagreement about how much vitamin D levels we need mm -hmm. in our blood, or in um, how much we're to be in the sun or how much to supplement. But um, it's really, we do need to have a lot higher vitamin D levels than we've been thinking, and we need, do need to supplement much greater than what's been recommended lately. Mm -hmm. uh, so, because so, it is so beneficial. And sunscreens block our the production ability. Of, yes, they do. of vitamin D. So what, yeah. if we're deficient in vitamin D, what are some of the, the possible results of that? The, Pages, pages <laughs> of, of the disease states that it can occur. Mm -hmm. There really are. It's just um, amazing. It impacts every organ. And uh, the osteoporosis rickets, they're seeing a reemergence of rickets in the UK right now because they've been, they say, shunning the sun and using the sunscreen. And so uh, the young children are there. They're experiencing rickets, and rickets was a 17th century disease. Mm -hmm. When people had moved to the cities, there was no sun, and when they finally figured out it was sunlight, they exposed them to sun, and rickets virtually disappeared. And now it's back again simply because we're being told to stay out of the sun. And rickets is horrendous. Uh, the bones are too soft. The kids get bow-legged and have a difficulty walking. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to go back to the rickets age hmm. and we don't have to we really don't have to so and the other thing is that low vitamin d in the mother they're linking it to newborn multiple sclerosis hmm. newborn schizophrenia and newborn type 1 diabetes so huge impact yeah. huge impact on our health and in fact the increased cancer because without vitamin d uh, there's certain cancers that uh, can arise. And uh, there was a study done just estimating in 2004 the cost of the increased cancers due to low vitamin D was between 40 and 56 billion dollars. Mm -hmm. And they're saying that was only for the cancers, that was not for all the other uh, diseases that arise because osteoporosis arises without vitamin mm -hmm. D. And that's a huge economic burden as well as physical burden of being uh, bedridden for the rest of your life with amendable broken hips. Mm -hmm.